Hey girlies, welcome or welcome back to the Imani Forrester channel. As you know, Imani Forrester is the author of 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing, which you can find in the description box below. I'm Shanice, and this video is about a situation that went viral on TikTok fairly recently. It inspired me to hop on and do a video about it because I wanted to warn women that some of these XYs are truly out here trying to have women fund their drizzle drizzle, soft boy era, lazy lifestyle. So first we're going to watch the video the follow-up, a reaction to it, and then I'm gonna come back on the back end with my own commentary. I think I'm gonna leave, but like, I need you to pay the bill, cause I'm not paying the bill. Like, I can't afford to pay the bill. I was thinking maybe you just looked out this time. I mean, you did ask me to come out. I didn't ask you, you asked me. Um, well, I sat here and pretended like so I cared awkward. about what you said for like an hour. I oh, uh, for you my God. oh my God, oh my God. I've never had anyone talk to me like that. Like, I'll pay it just because, like, you seem like you... Can you, uh, see if your sister can cash out you some money for us? I'm literally, like, appalled. Like, I don't, like... Are you being serious right I'll now? I'll cover the tip if you want to, like... If you had the tip, then... I'm, like, I'm not going to sit here and argue with someone about paying a bill. I'll pay it, but, like, that's so sad that you would, like, ask somebody Well, out. if you'll pay it, then what's the big deal? Ladies, if you're ever out on a date and a man doesn't want to pay for your meal, I don't think you should handle it like this. Some men don't really show their true colors until you tell them no or until you don't do something that they want you to do. I have a feeling that he wanted to go back to her place or wanted her to come back to his. And when he realized that she wasn't really feeling him like that, he was like, I'm not about to waste my money on her. I don't even care if he didn't have the money. I don't care if you have to get outside and sell plasma. I don't care if you have to become a busboy or wash some dishes or call your mama and have her get out of her bed in her robe and her bonnet and pull out a fresh $50 bill fresh from her bra. I don't care how he came up with the money, but I could care less. Y'all gotta stop being so nice. You don't owe this man anything, especially Winnie Parker, because I believe Winnie doesn't have a job right now, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was showing videos of you doing Uber Eats and all these different things to get money for your mortgage and all of that, and you out here paying for meals for random men you meet online? This ain't no doggone soup kitchen. Let that grown man with his job pay for his own meal. Stop letting him use you, honey. He could tell by the time the bill came that she wasn't feeling him. And he was like, you know what? I'm not going to waste 30 or $40 on her. Okay, that's fine. And don't you waste 30 or $40 on him either. I'm just going to clear up a couple of questions. One, the reason why I decided to just pay all of it was because the server had come around three times by this point and we were still arguing. I could tell that the server just wanted to be done. The server wanted to get, you know, the payment and leave. It was about closing time. And so the server was just ready to go. Um, I decided just to pay it because he was not going to pay it. And if he didn't pay his half, even if I would have split down the middle, she it would have been deducted from her bill. It would, she would have had to end up paying for it, essentially. I was kind of okay with paying it because I just feel like it will come back to me in some way, shape, or form. I'm tired of arguing. I need to get back to my son. Like, let's just pay it and I'll just never talk to the man again. Another question I got a lot was how much did I end up paying? It was $100. The bill was $100 and that was including the tip. Another one I got is why did he randomly mention your sister? Because before that, we were kind of talking about our families. He was telling me that, um, you know, his dad had a business and I was telling him that like, oh, my sister, you know, works in the technical field. So basically he ended up just using that against me 30 minutes later. And the last one is, is, is this a skit? It is not a skit. I do understand how it could seem like a skit because it happens all the time on the internet and we are so desensitized to sing shit like that, that we think that like, it's not real, but I promise you, I would never wish that upon anybody. And I, um, I'm traumatized from that shit. Like I'm, I'm literally like, what the fuck happened? Um, what the fuck happened? And then also the very end where he was like, let me touch on it. It ended abruptly like that at the perfect time, honestly, because while he was saying that he was scooting closer to me and I was like, get the, f like back the, f up like you know like it was like a i stopped recording so i was like don't come near me anyway i hope that explains everything a little bit better okay so i'm back and i spoke to imani at length about this this was just so frustrating literally my blood was boiling after i watched this this guy just completely took advantage of winnie and when he realized that segs was off the table he took his wallet off the table too winnie should have never pulled out any money for him Women in general shouldn't be paying for XYs, and I want to emphasize, especially black women. I don't think any woman should really be paying for a man. It's one thing if you ask him out, 
or if you're just friends, even then a gentleman will usually pay. But if you're just friends or whatever, and that's not the case, fine. Everyone can pay for themselves. But when you are asked out on a date, a good man is going to pay for you. He wants to spend time with you, and he's showing that he's willing to invest in that time. In this capitalist society, time is money. If he wants to spend time with you, time you can't get back, he should pay for it. And they know this. If he wants you to take the time to get ready, maybe you even buy a new outfit, maybe you drive out to meet him, you spend time that you could have been using for yourself or with loved ones, then yes, he should pay. If he actually cares about you and values you, he would. It's a clear indicator of how much he values spending time with you. Secondly, women, especially black women, you don't have the financial luxury to be paying for XYs. And you especially can't afford to be paying for men who are at the top of the socioeconomic hierarchy, given your history of unpaid labor. In this society, as Imani pointed out in her book, if any of y'all have read it, black women are basically robbed of about $1 million in their lifetime in the US due to the pay gap, lack of promotions, and overall wealth disparities. These men will out earn black women by that amount by the time both are 60. So the money that this YT guy earned over his lifetime if he works until he's 60 years old will generally be about 1 million more dollars than what you will make in that same amount of time. So consider yourself out $1 million already. Do you have an extra $100 for him? You do not. In this society, you don't. What Imani and I were saying was that he found the right and the wrong black woman to take on a date. This is a dusty who probably can't get any women in his own community who would probably never pay for him. And so he decided to find this nice, sweet, kind of submissive black girl to try this on because he knows that it wouldn't work on anyone else. It's really sad because he benefits from her not wanting to make a scene in this moment and not wanting to look a certain way and not wanting to fit into specific stereotypes that make her look bad. These stereotypes already exist about black women. You can't look any worse. So it, let me be frank, don't worry about that. But that's how these XYs are. They count on women de-escalating, not wanting to cause a scene, wanting to keep the peace, and being self-sacrificial. When he told her the lie, which it was a lie, that he didn't have any money, he did this knowing that he didn't step foot in a restaurant without a means to pay for what he's eating there. He counted on the fact that she would save both of their reputations by paying for the meal herself. She wouldn't cause a scene because she doesn't want to look a certain way. I say to all women, but especially black women, because black women are in a very specific social position, don't be afraid to make a scene. You don't have to be ghetto about it if you don't want to. I mean, he would deserve to be cussed out, to be honest, but there are multiple ways that she could have handled this, none of which involve paying for him. Worst case scenario, you pay for yourself because you should have enough money for yourself when you go on a date. If you're dating in general, anything can go wrong and you want to be able to get out of the situation quickly. If you feel beholden to someone if they pay for you, then fine, pay for yourself. Have enough to make your way there and back and have enough to pay for whatever you decide to get. But you never have enough for him. So as I was saying before, there are many ways that she could have handled this. I would say cause a scene. Ask for the waiter. Tell them, look, I didn't have a clue, but apparently he doesn't have enough to pay for the meal. I don't know what he was expecting to do. I don't know if he was expecting to dine and dash. Do you guys call the police for these kinds of situations? Escalate it, because watch, he's suddenly going to find the money. He'll dig around and suddenly he'll find his credit card. He'll find the money. You can call over the waiter and be sweet about it and say, I don't know if you can help in any way, but he doesn't have enough money to pay for the meal. Play dumb, look. There's so many ways to handle this. I, I don't know if there's any way that um, that we can settle this, but um, he doesn't have enough money to pay. I don't know what he was expecting to do. You can say very loudly that he's the one who invited you on this date and he seriously doesn't have any money to afford it. Look, you can cuss him out too. Know that in this society, men usually feel ashamed when they don't have money. It's important for everyone, but it's more important for a man to have money than it is for a woman in this patriarchal society that they created. We just live in it, so we have to find ways to survive within it. So I say cause a scene. Notice how quiet this guy got when he told Winnie that he didn't have any money to pay for the meal that he ordered. He doesn't want everybody in the restaurant to know. That's why you tell everyone. But also, I noticed that Winnie had said in her video something about the fact that if she just paid for her half, the waiter would have to pay for the rest and foot the rest of the bill. That's not how business works. The waiter's not going to have to pay for anything. So I don't know who told her that or why she believed that, but that's not the case. That's just not true. If anything, if the restaurant felt so inclined, First of all, they would take the loss, the, the business would take a loss, but if they felt so inclined, they would actually call the police about him dining and dashing because that's a crime. And trust and believe he would pay before it got to that point. Put the pressure back on him. And black women especially need to be careful because sadly, there are women like this who set a precedent that puts all of us at risk. There are dusties within our community and outside of it who are looking at black women for a come up. They see videos like this and think, I can live off of her. I can get something out of her. So for the sake of other black women and women in general, if you have some kind of complex within yourself, think about the women that you're putting at risk. Have other women's back. White, Black, Asian, Latina, have their back when you don't pay for men. 
Because when an ex-wife sees that they can get something out of you, then they're going to go on and try it with somebody else. Women are so disadvantaged when it comes to economics. We can't let these ex-wives who this society was built for, who have handicapped, gifted to them by the system, who automatically get raises before you, who people are willing to actually pay for everything they do, use you for free labor. Don't let these disgusting parasites target other women. Make them think twice, at the very least. Now, there was another video that we wanted to cover after this one because there's just such a stark contrast in how these two mindsets are embedded within women. So in the video we're going to show you, it's going to highlight the difference. I'm going to play the video and come back with my commentary. Yo, daughter Mari, when you start dating, what he going to have to do? Work with my dad. Are you spending 50-50 with anybody? No. Why? Because you don't. Come on. See, common sense for her. Y'all got to understand, the reason why I be so stern on paying 100% of everything is because I have two beautiful baby girls, all right? I got a 14-year-old and I got a 2-year-old. And guess what? They ain't finna be dealing with that bullshit that most women got to deal with in today's time. They not finna be out here struggling, you know, trying to figure out how they gonna eat their next meal because they dealt with the wrong man. No, you got to pay 100% for everything, all right? I'm raising them the same way that they see their dad doing. I've been paying all the bills since day one. My wife has never touched a bill since 2014, and that's the year that I met her. Pay 100% of everything, because if you don't, you are not considered a real man. Stay by yourself until you're able to provide 100%. That's all I'm saying. You can't do that, you don't need to be with nobody. The relationship math is, if you can't take care of yourself, you damn sure can't take care of this person. Stay by yourself and prioritize yourself. This is why I firmly believe in 100% of so I'm back and this video just goes to show how important it is for women to develop a mindset where we understand our value, our presence and our time has value. And yes, he should be paying, paying for it if he cares. He should respect you enough to acknowledge that you could be spending that time doing anything else, making money for yourself, spending time with loved ones. He needs to show that he appreciates that. And this father understands that and wants no less for his daughter. He wants his daughters to understand their worth. He's making sure that they grow up with self-worth and that's why it's so important. But not everyone has a good father or even a father there for them. So women need to learn to develop this mindset within themselves either way. We need to learn to understand our intrinsic value. Yes, a man needs to pay for dates within a patriarchal society where things are as unfair as they are. Women make significantly less and our time is more sensitive. I don't mean hitting the wall, that's foolishness. What I mean is our time becomes more scarce and more valuable because we make less and time is money. People expect free labor from women and there's not enough time in the day. So yes, if he gets an hour of your time, if he gets 10 minutes of your time, he should be grateful for it and nothing less. And if this XY isn't showing you any gratitude, kick him to the curb. If you don't have a father or a male figure in your life that will teach you this, then make sure that you're learning it within yourself. Watch channels like Shira, watch Manifestel, watch our channel. Watch people who are going to plant those seeds that remind you of your worth. I don't care who it is. Just make sure that you know. And so you never end up like Winnie in that situation. We were planning on making this video for a few weeks, but things got a little bit hectic. But we just wanted to make sure that we got this video out because we had a whole night's worth of conversation about it. This guy chose the absolute right one for himself. So anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you'll always be updated when we have a new video. And we'll see you in the next one.